Okay. What are you going to picture that for? You can... Yeah, there's my stacks building. And uh, you can, you know, there's a lot of layers there. I don't remember exactly how many layers. But there's different combinations. There may be two of one together to make a thicker layer. There may be three skinny ones. It's whatever I have up on the board there. What's the I'm using 15 and 20, which is my light colored steel and uh, 1084, which is my dark colored steel. Now, you have to think about this. Damascus steel used to be magical. Oh, it would, it would self-sharpen, it would do everything, blah, blah, blah. No, it's steel. It's only gonna do what it can do. But we can, we can, we can have something to do with that. We can tweak it, for sure. If I mix two good knife steels, 15 and 20, 10, 1084, superlative knife steels in their own right individually then I'm going to get a good a good billet here but if I throw in some mystery steel because I had it it was available well that mystery steel might be the, the weak link you know and, and when people first started doing this in America they would throw in um, wrought iron wrought iron and that carbon in to speak of so it would suck all the carbon out of the other steels and would all average out of the low carbon. So we want nice high carbon steels. And each of those those two types of steel have different carbon contents. But when we get up here to welding temperature, the carbon will become active and it will it will diffuse back and forth. It will go back and forth all through there and it will average out. So the whole blade, the whole billet will have the same carbon content. And uh, Kevin Cashin said, and we always say that it migrates, and he says, caribou migrate, carbon diffuses. So, so we're going to have some carbon diffusion going on here. <laughs> so there's a lot of layers in there. There's three, six, and there's a whole bunch of them that you can barely see. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in for a second. We'll see the bubbles. Generally speaking, 